The big story this morning is coming in from the Aam Aadmi Party headquarters and this is with regard to Arvind Kejriwal's ED custody that ends today. Does that mean he'll get some temporary relief or could the CBI now be coming after him is what our sources are telling us. <coughs> Kejriwal court today in just a short while and sources have told us that ED on one side and Central Bureau of Investigation will likely now next seek arrest of Delhi Chief Minister and AAP convener. We're told secure, significant security measures have been put in place. The area has been fortified, deployment of Delhi police, but also paramilitary and about 1,000 personnel, we are told, in and around the court premises have been deployed. Now, the reason, remember, is because there have been inputs that um, Ahmadbi party supporters and workers may gather and stage a protest. But ahead of that, Arvind Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, has made an exclusive statement and said that she's claimed nobody knows about where the liquor gate money has went. That's with the allegation coming in from the ED. Arvind Kejriwal, she's added, will expose when he appears before the Delhi High Court, will also provide evidence to back his claim with regard to the truth. So could be an explosive hearing today at the Rouse Avenue Court in Delhi. Manish Ji ke yaan raid maari, Sanjay Singh Ji ke yaan raid maari, Satyan Jain Ji ke yaan raid maari, Ek bhi paisa nahi mila. Hamaari yaan raid maari, Maat tihattar ajar rupi mile. To wo is so called sharaab ghutale ka paisa, Hai kaha? Arvind Ji ne kaha hai, Ki iska khulasa, Ve 28 March ko court ke saamne karenge. सारे देश को सचत बताएंगे कि इस सो कॉल्ड शराब घुटाले का पैसा है कहां उसका सबूत भी देंगे जो हाई कोर्ट ने आज के आदेश में टिप्पणी करी है वो बहुत महत्वपूर्ण टिप्पणी है अभी तक सिर्फ आम आदमी पार्टी और अन्य विपक्षी दल इंडिया गठबंधन के लोग ये बार-बार सवाल उठा रहे थे कि ये अरेस्ट गैर कानूनी है ये अरेस्ट गैर लोकतांत्रिक है ये अरेस्ट पॉलिटिकली मोटिवेटेड है लेकिन आज हाई कोर्ट ने भी कहा है कि इस बात को जांचने की जरूरत है कि क्या ये अरेस्ट मोटिवेटेड है आज हाई कोर्ट ने भी माना है कि ये अरेस्ट गैर लोकतांत्रिक हो सकता है आज हाई कोर्ट ने भी माना है कि ये अरेस्ट गैर कानूनी हो सकता है और इसी कारण से हाई कोर्ट ने ईडी को नोटिस दिया है कहीं पर भी वह प्रूव कर दें कि ईडी की कस्टडी से कोई मैसेज उनके तक आया हो क्योंकि जब वह ईडी से ईडी के कस्टडी में मिलने भी जाती हैं वो भी वीडियो रिकॉर्ड होता है तो वो बता दें कि कब ईडी के कस्टडी में मिलने गई और कब केजरीवाल साहब ने उनको संदेश दिया असल में सारा निराधार है सब झूठ है क्योंकि जेल में है अब किसी प्रकार से थोड़ी सिंपथी मिल जाए आज वो दिल्ली के हेल्थ की इशू की चिंता कर रहे हैं तब नहीं इनको हेल्थ की चिंता हुई जब दिल्ली के मोहल्ला क्लिनिक में तीन बच्चों की हत्या हो गई थी let me bring in India today's Amit Bharadwaj, who's been tracking ever since the liquor gate policy, so to say, over the excise policy, the scam that had emerged according to the Enforcement Directorate. Amit, good morning. It's a big day, 28th March, as the ED custody ends. But uh, if sources are to be believed, CBI could be next coming in for Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, true, Pooja. You know, important day as far as the legal battle for Aam Aadmi Party and Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, yesterday, they had approached the Delhi High Court questioning the grounds of the arrest as well as the ED remand. But today is the day when the ED remand ends. And uh, what, you know, coming from uh, uh, the case of Manish Sisodia as well as Sanjay Singh, what is likely to happen, and rather K. Kavita as well, uh, what is likely to happen is that the Enforcement Directorate might seek for extension of the custody, say, saying that, arguing that they have to confront Arvind Kejriwal with the other accused in the case, the approvers in the case and the evidences uh, uh, what they claim they have in their position. Uh, so all that uh, will be argued upon. Obviously, Arvind Kejriwal's lawyer, uh, lawyers and counsels will refer to the proceedings of the Delhi High Court and the observations made by Delhi High Court as well. And as you said, you know, the Central Bu whether the Central Bureau of Investigation will chip in, whether they'll seek uh, custody of Arvind Kejriwal as well, that is to be seen. But in this particular case, uh, you know, uh, uh, what we are given to understand right now, the Enforcement Directorate uh, will push for extension of the custody. And after uh, uh, you know, uh, the Central Bureau of Investigation could actually chip in.
uh, once uh, that window for ED custody ends uh, uh, so that the CBI could also take forward its investigation in the excise policy case. Uh, but, you know, on one side, the legal battle will continue at the Rouse Avenue Court outside. The political battle between the Amadmi Party, India Alliance and the Bharatiya Janata Party. But, but is clearly, I mean, more than today. the political showdown uh, right uh, now, it will of, be the legal uh, fight yes. that the Ahmadmi Party and Arvind K. Jival really need to worry about because otherwise it could be a log haul for the Delhi Chief Minister, who's also party's national convener of Lok Sabha elections and then upcoming Delhi elections as well in some months. All right, remember, amid all of this, very interesting statements have come in from the United States of America. You heard it right. On Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, USA has also given out a statement. Here's what Matthew Miller has said specifically on the arrest and then also referring to the Congress claim of the frozen accounts. You to follow these actions closely, including the arrest of Delhi Chief Minister uh, 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 Kejriwal. We are also aware of the Congress, Congress Party's allegations that tax authorities have frozen some of their bank accounts in a manner that will make it challenging to effectively campaign in the upcoming elections. And we encourage fair, transparent, and timely legal processes for each of these issues. With respect to your first question, I'm not going to talk about any private diplomatic conversations. But of course, um, uh, what we have said publicly is what I just said from here, that we encourage fair, transparent, timely legal processes. We don't think anyone should object to that. But even more interesting than the United States of America was Germany's comments. Germany had also given out a statement against Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Uh, then it led to the envoy being summoned by India. And now German ministry, foreign ministry, has given out a statement to say that uh, they express confidence in India's judicial system and are expecting a fair and a free trial. Ja, vielen Dank, Herr Walker. Es ist ja in der Tat so, dass sich mein Kollege letzte Woche hier zu dem Fall eingelassen hatte. Insofern habe ich da jetzt auch keinen neuen Stand. Aber lassen Sie mich noch mal sagen, dass, wie Sie ja schon gesagt haben, das Thema erörtert worden ist mit der, mit der indischen Seite am Samstag. Und lassen Sie mich aber auch noch mal betonen, dass wir also Indien und Deutschland ein großes Interesse an einer vertieften Kooperation haben und da auch vertrauensvoll zusammenarbeiten. Insofern würde ich jetzt ungern hier aus ähm, vertraulichen internen Gesprächen berichten. Die indische Verfassung, und das kann ich ja aus eigener Ansicht sagen, ich war ja selbst in Indien auf Posten, ähm, garantiert grundlegende Menschen- und Freiheitswerte. Äh, und ähm, diese demokratischen Werte teilen wir mit Indien als einem wichtigen Partner in Asien.